this and go out there if I don't fall and break my neck. And a dangerous evening continuing now as we roll into the overnight hours. Severe weather tornadoes, large tornadoes continuing to race on through parts of uh, the Midwest and now heading into the Tennessee Valley. As right now, we've got multiple warnings, not only severe thunderstorm warnings, but also tornado warnings and even a tornado emergency here. That's this box here in purple in Kentucky, where we've had a large and destructive tornado reports of some Significant damage and also fatality starting to come on in. This is Hopkins and Mullenberg counties. This is an observed and the threat here is considerable and potentially catastrophic as this storm has been on the ground or this tornado has been on the ground for quite some time now and it continues to move on off toward the north and northeast. It does show at least some signs of some slight weakening now, but as you can see from the radar, we are seeing what looks to be additional tornado warnings now being put out for Ohio County, including the cities of Beaver Dam, Abetta and Hartford. Once again, this is an observed tornado potentially moving into this area and then further north. We're in Breckenridge, Grayson and Hancock counties. Again, we are in the state of Kentucky, Hardinsburg, Irvington and Patesville. Uh, please take cover now. Get in your safe place as this storm has had a history of producing a large and destructive tornado as it continues to move on off toward the north and northeast at about 45 miles per hour. Uh, as we get in a little closer, we can see here that we do have a little bit of a couplet here that does look like it's starting to just weaken a bit and kind of come apart, but very strong winds. And again, tornado emergencies, this box in purple, it doesn't look like they're going to extend that here further north in these additional warnings, but still a very dangerous storm, potentially a destructive tornado heading on off toward the north and northeast and heading toward Beta and probably going to head north of Beaver Dam here over the next 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, Centertown, Hartford, Combs Ford, Sulphur Springs, Horse Branch, all areas that you should be taking cover now. Get into your safe place, lowest level of your home, potentially into an interior room if you do not have a basement. And as we can see here from the correlation coefficient, we are showing some debris that is getting kicked up with this cell as it continues to move on off toward the north and east. Other thunderstorms continue to produce tornado warnings here further on down toward the west and southwest earlier where we did have power flashes around Central City just north and west of Kentucky Parkway and west of Central City. The power is out and numerous reports of power outages along with the damage in and across the area. This tornado watch does stay in effect until 5 a.m. including Memphis down toward Shreveport. I'm sure we'll continue to see additional watches as we go on through the evening and then until 3 a.m. as we head further north. Places like Louisville and Nashville, you're also under a tornado watch, meaning that the severe weather threat is going to continue to roll right on through the nighttime hours tonight. We'll continue to keep you updated as we head on through this evening and through the overnight hours into the early morning. We'll now send you back to your regularly scheduled programming. Extremely dangerous situation continuing now out across Kentucky and parts of the Midwest as uh, we continue to see what looks to be another Tornado warning now as uh, we get into Ohio County, Fordsville. Um, no longer tornado emergency, but this was a storm that's had a large and potentially destructive tornado. Um, certainly destruction back toward the west and southwest, uh, moving on off toward the north and northeast. So a considerable threat here with this cells. It continues to move on off toward the north, northeast. Uh, Fordsville, take cover now and areas upstream of that as we are still showing what looks to be pretty good rotation in there, though it has come down just a bit. Still very dangerous storms ahead towards Narrow, Heights Falls, Dempster, Extel, and Fisher over the next 25 minutes or so. So continue to um, take cover, take cover, take the lowest level of your home or get into your basement if you do have one or an interior room in this area. You need to be aware of uh Considerable threat now continuing out across parts of uh, Tennessee and Kentucky now north northwest of Bowling Green and west of Clarksville, west northwest of Nashville for now. But these storms are producing what looks to be significant tornadoes continue to push off toward the north and east. Going to cover this area first. We'll get to this one in just a second. First, as we get into Kentucky, these are active tornado warnings. And this cell here and also these cells here have produced uh, what looks to be now radar indicated tornadoes, but have had a history of producing damage and also a few fatalities and some reports starting to come on in here, unfortunately. So very dangerous storms. Davies, Henderson, Spencer. Those are the counties in Kentucky right now in Masonville, Owensboro and Rockport. This cell is a Doppler indicated rotating thunderstorm, potentially producing a tornado with strong winds and hail. And then at ahead of that, we do have this other cell. This is the one that's been active all night that has produced uh, what was at one time a 
fairly large and destructive tornado now moving on off toward the north and northeast. So this is the observed one near Breckenridge and uh, Grayson. Take cover in those counties as the threat here is considerable. As we can see, it looks like the cells kind of uh, lost some of its uh, hook echo there, the rotation, but it does seem to appear that there is still a threat here for a tornado, although the cell does look like it has lost a little bit of its signature and kind of flattened it out and losing its identity just a bit. There may still be some rotation in here to the east, southeast of Fordsville. A very dangerous thunderstorm cell nonetheless. And as it moves on off toward the north and northeast here pretty quickly, uh, some of the other areas affected include Axtell, Burris, uh, Constantine, and Big Spring uh, within the next 25 minutes. So take cover if you are in these areas. Get in your safe place in your home. And if you're in and around these areas also, note that you should probably be taking cover as we head on through the next 25 to 30 minutes. There is a little bit of a debris signature in there right there where it indicates there may be some debris getting kicked up. So we may have still a tornado on the ground as we had said. Now the warning came in as observed, so an observed tornado in that area, and then back toward the west of this cell, once again for Davies and Henderson County here. This is radar indicated, but still a very dangerous thunderstorm. Now we're going to get into Kentucky, or out of Kentucky and into Tennessee. This is Henry County, an observed tornado with a threat that is considerable. You can see a little bit of a hook echo right there. Uh, this is a storm cell that is uh, potentially producing a large and extremely dangerous tornado. Uh, just a few minutes ago, it was west of Paris Landing State Park moving east at 55 miles per hour. So you really don't have much time to react here. And this storm is moving on off toward the east northeast pretty quickly too. So you won't have much time to react. Same thing here for Stewart County and the areas in and around Dover. Observed tornado, a considerable threat here. Please take cover if you're west northwest of the Carlisle area. Dangerous thunderstorm with a tornado observed with this cell as it moves on off toward the north and northeast. If you are in Fairview, Big Rock, Legate and Lafayette over the next 30 minutes, this storm could be impacting you. Please get to your safe place now as these dangerous thunderstorms continue to push on through. As you can see, a little bit of a couplet right there from the uh, velocity showing where we may have that tornado. And as we had said, this is an observed tornado, but the debris field right now is not showing much. That doesn't mean there's not anything there. We're just not picking up. Severe weather most likely continuing through the overnight with numerous tornado watches in effect. Nashville, you're in this watch until 5 a.m. for the morning hours. Further toward the north up in Cincinnati, these are areas that are under the tornado watch until 6 o'clock during the morning hours. We'll keep you updated as needed. Next update in a couple of minutes. Trying not to panic. I was considerable threat for tornadoes continuing now through the overnight hours. We're going to jump on this cell real quick here in Stewart County in Tennessee. Observed tornado, considerable threat here. As you can see, you got a little bit of a notch and that's where the rotation in the thunderstorm would show where the tornado is. You can kind of see that little curl right in there. So very dangerous thunderstorm producing a tornado here moving on off toward the north and east. So if you are in this area near Dover in and around the Dover area, please take cover now. You can see where that rotation is right there. Pretty significant here and a little bit of debris showing up there. So likely that's where the tornado is as it moves on off toward the north and northeast and then back to the west and southwest of that. We've got another tornado warning observed here in Tennessee for Henry County. If you are in this area to the east of per year, please take cover now. Very very dangerous thunderstorm tornado heading your way. June 2018 and look. Very dangerous evening continuing now out across uh, mainly Kentucky and Tennessee, although we do have numerous warnings for severe weather and observe tornadoes with some of these tornado warnings. Area of concern here, also an area of concern here up in uh, Kentucky. Um, some good news with a destructive tornado earlier that produced significant damage to buildings and businesses. It looks like that cell is beginning to weaken just a bit, but still we do have an active tornado warning here. This tornado warning stays for Breckenridge, Hardin, and Meade counties. A radar indicated now for hours this has been an observed tornado, but for now for Flaherty, Radcliffe, and Vine Grove, uh, take cover if you are in these areas just to the north, northwest of Elizabethtown. Um, this is a very dangerous thunderstorm nonetheless with three quarter inch hail, strong winds and potentially still a rotation in there and potentially still a tornado. But as you can see from the velocity, we're not getting that couplet or that, you know, the two colors touching together, green or red or yellow and red. Uh, right now, it does look like it is kind of moving away a little bit and kind of weakening here as it washes out. Uh, the debris signatures, you can see back to the west and southwest, maybe a little bit of debris signature there. That looks more like noise on the radar. But uh, right now, it does look like we are seeing some weakening of that cell. Uh, still a dangerous thunderstorm nonetheless. Now, this is where we've got a considerable threat now. Um, this is the latest in parts of uh, Tennessee. Uh, new warnings coming up here from Montgomery and Stewart County, an observed tornado on the ground 
considerable threat here for significant damage. Um, in the west, in the northwest of the Clarksville area, looks like this cell is going to miss that area and to the west of Oak Grove, getting reports in now of um, a tornado on the ground, Fort Campbell base, uh, far, moving off to the northeast in Stewart County, uh, crossing uh, Kentucky. Uh, does appear that it is going to miss Clarksville, but nonetheless, a very dangerous thunderstorm here that continues to produce a tornado. And as we said, an observed tornado, and it looks like the rotation now has moved just to the south and to the southwest of Lafayette. And that's where we're seeing the most significant rotation right now. As you can kind of see that couplet right there, that's where the tornado would be sitting. So you are in the Lafayette area and in and around this area. Please get to your safe place and into your shelter. Very dangerous uh, thunderstorm and uh, most likely a tornado here, which has been observed moving on off toward the north and northeast. We're going to try to catch the debris signature here. Um, yeah, a little bit of a debris signature right there, meaning that's where the tornado is. It's probably a little further northeast now of that as the radar is usually uh, just a little bit behind what's actually happening on the ground. Uh, either way, get into your safe place in and around the Lafayette area, and uh, looks like you may start seeing uh, what looks to be uh, some of the impacts from that cell over the next uh, couple of minutes. So Lafayette, Oak Grove, and uh, Pembroke, once again, an observed tornado. This is a tornado warning until 1245. Very dangerous thunderstorm continuing to push on off toward the north and northeast. And they're moving quickly, too, at about uh, 55 to 60 miles per hour out to the northeast as we head on through the early morning hours. And around Memphis now in the metropolitan area, we do have a tornado warning. Morning now. This one's radar indicated uh, Shelby County, including the cities of Bartlett, Germantown, and the city of Memphis. And again, this is radar indicated with a dangerous thunderstorm nonetheless, with hail and potentially a tornado mixed in there. And look at the severe thunderstorm warnings even surrounding that. A very dangerous line of storms even heading on back toward the west and the southwest. As you get near the Hughes area, this severe thunderstorm warning for Crittenden, Lee, and St. Francis counties. And then further off toward the north, we also have very dangerous thunderstorms, which are non tornadic, but northwest west of Indianapolis, Park, Vermilion, and Vigo counties. Uh, this is a severe thunderstorm warning for Blackford and Grant and Huntington counties, also to the south and to the southwest of Fort Wayne. Um, there's a tornado possible with some rotation being indicated within this thunderstorm. But right now, the most dangerous cells appear to be down here just to the north and to the northwest of Clarksville, Christian counties. This is a tornado warning observed. A considerable threat here from what looks to be a tornado on the ground moving to the south of Hopkinsville. So again, and emphasizing if you are in Lafayette, Oak Grove, and the Pembroke area, take cover now, get into your safe place, and then areas that are further on off toward the north and east of this cell include um, Elkton and Claymore and Danby. Within the next 30 minutes, uh, we could see this cell with a tornado actually approaching you. We're going to continue to keep you updated as we head on through the overnight and the early morning hours. We're now going to send you back to your regularly scheduled programming. Here on the Weather Channel. Still a considerable threat for severe weather as we go through the coming hours here into Saturday morning, but it does look like we are seeing less in the way of tornadic cells, but still numerous thunderstorms with the potential of producing severe weather. As you can see around Memphis, luckily the tornado warnings have been dropping up further toward the north and northwest of Nashville. Uh, still a couple of tornado warnings to deal with. So uh, let's get in there. We've had observed tornadoes with these warnings. Uh, as you can see here, Todd County now in Kentucky. That's a tornado warning for the Elkton and Trenton areas. This is an observed tornado, so take cover in that area and just behind that in Christian County, Fairview and Pembroke. Uh, this is a tornado warning. Once again, this has been an observed tornado with uh, reports of some destruction and a very large tornado moving on off toward the north and northeast. So if you are in these areas in and around these counties, please take cover now. She said, I'm going upstairs. So she a dangerous Friday night now early Saturday morning as thunderstorms potentially producing tornadoes and have produced dangerous and destructive tornadoes uh, continue to spin up. Now things have settled down just a little bit, but still dangerous thunderstorms and an observed tornado warning here an observed tornado for Logan and Simpsons counties were just to the west now of Bowling Green. As you can see, this thunderstorm cell is moving on off toward the north and east near Auburn and Lewisburg. Russellville take cover now as this complex of thunderstorms and Right in there, looks like where we've got the rotation um, continue to move on off toward the northeast. So dangerous thunderstorm nonetheless. An observed tornado possible here as we look at the velocity. Um, really not seeing a good couplet here, but back toward the west near the Elkton area in this warning, we do have a pretty decent couplet. So there may be not only one, but two active tornado warnings with observed tornadoes with them. 
as you can see back toward the west with this cell, an observed tornado and a considerable threat here for damage near Elkton and Trenton. This is Todd County in Kentucky. This is a tornado warning also with a considerable threat. So these two tornado warnings look like the most dangerous cells out there right now. But other warnings for severe storms and even a tornado warning that's popped up here just south of Louisville. This is for Bullitt and Shelby and Spencer counties, including Harrisonville, Mount Washington and Shelbyville. A dangerous thunderstorm radar indicated rotation here as this storm heads on off toward the north and northeast. So take cover in this area, too, if you are under the threat for this cell. Um, over the next 30 to 40 minutes, uh, some other areas that may be affected include Alton and Frankfurt and also into Midway. It does look like it'll pass south of Louisville, though. So either way, it does look like uh, the threat here south of Louisville is uh, pretty significant, although the strongest storms continue to be on off toward just to the south of town. So that's that cell. And then further on off toward the north, numerous thunderstorms with warnings uh, in and around of Muncie and in Indiana and also just to the north, northeast of that. So you got Delaware, Henry and Madison County, severe thunderstorm warnings. And then also Adams, Jay, and Wells County. That's a tornado possible cell. Got a little tag on that one for potential rotation. And near Cincinnati, we also have a severe thunderstorm warning for Boone, Dearborn, and Ohio counties. That's a dangerous cell with winds maybe to 60 or possibly even 70 miles per hour. And then down to the south and southwest, east of, Mem east of Memphis and northeast of Memphis. Now severe thunderstorm warning and also a tornado warning now issued for Fayette, Hard Hardeman, and Haywood counties, including the cities of Fayette. Corners, Hillville, and Oakland. This is an observed tornado also, so very dangerous thunderstorm uh, downwind here as you go downstream uh, near Jackson. It looks like that could be the next area that could be threatened by this cell as it moves on off toward the north and northeast. So roughly over the next uh, 60 minutes, other areas that may be affected could be Fayette Corners, Cloverport, Mendon, Jackson, and, and Luray. Please get to your safe place now. This is a dangerous thunderstorm. And now, as we had said, uh, radar indicated on tornado warning at one point. We did have an observe report come in from that. But uh, very dangerous thunderstorms continuing to push on through the area as we head on through the early morning hours now. And then down to the southwest of that, you kind of see this line of storms coming through, uh, not only Louisiana, but into Arkansas. And those cells are right now producing severe storms, but dangerous thunderstorms nonetheless continuing. Tornado watch continues to push on through uh, not only Memphis and Nashville, but also further north up near Cincinnati and Fort Wayne through the early morning hours. So we do expect to see the severe weather threat continue even in the sunrise. The good news is at least some weekend of the cells, but still very dangerous and destructive tornadoes are possible and in some cases may be occurring here now as we head on through the next couple of minutes. We'll continue to keep you updated over the next few hours. We'll now send you back to your regularly scheduled programming. He had been before the incident. We're at Bowling Green now. Observed tornado just to the west and southwest of you as this latest tornado warning includes Butler, Edmondson, and Warren counties, including the city of Bowling Green, Greencastle, and Sugar Grove. Observed tornado, potentially a large and destructive tornado here now. Moving on off toward the north and east. As you can see, it looks like there's a rotation here, and there may be another rotation here just to the northwest of that other one. But a dangerous thunderstorm nonetheless producing a tornado. Uh, reports of damage coming in as this storm moves off to the northeast at 55 miles per hour. So I'd say if you are in any of these areas right now, get into your safe place as this cell has had a history of producing a tornado and most likely we have two areas of rotation that we're dealing with. One just to the west and to the southwest of Auburn and one further north of that. So both of these storms heading off to the northeast at about 55 miles per hour. So at this point, we don't have much time to react. Um, if you are in Sugar Grove, Greencastle, Bowling Green, anybody in between or in and around these areas, please get to your safe place now. This Cell in this tornado has had a history of producing damage. It looks like we've got two areas of debris right now. Uh, the tornado debris signatures northwest of Auburn and this other one here now coming in and showing up, producing uh, what's likely to be maybe two separate rotations. Um, very difficult to tell if this is all from one big tornado, but it doesn't look like it is. These look like we've got two separate areas here where we're kicking up debris, and that's what we're showing on uh, kind of this shot of the radar. So dangerous tornadoes heading on off toward the north and northeast. Uh, right now, a looks like the best areas that are going to be impacted here are to the southwest of Sugar Grove, heading on up toward the Sugar Grove area here shortly. And uh, with this lead cell, it does look like uh, some other areas that may be impacted are up near the Greencastle area and also Buffalo Fork and Barron River. If you are in these areas, please take shelter now and get into your safe place. And with this rotation to the south of that, um, right now, um, it does look like these areas uh, that may be impacted include the Blue Level area within the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Now, understand that 
um, it means that we've got potentially tornadoes on the ground, maybe two tornadoes here. As uh, looking at the rotation and the debris signatures, it does look like there are two separate areas of lo rotation with this area of thunderstorms that continues to push on through. So again, in Logan and Simpson counties, this cell is moving out of that area and then into the Bowling Green area for Butler, Edmondson, and Warren counties. Uh, this is what looks to be maybe two rotations or two areas of rotation and observed tornadoes continuing to move on in toward the Bowling Green area. Please take cover now. Very dangerous situation continuing to set up here in and around the Bowling Green and South Central Kentucky area. Further down toward the south now, um, we have had some weakening and less rotation in these thunderstorms around Memphis, but still into Crittenden and DeSoto and Tunica counties, uh, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning. East of Memphis, we've got another one for Fayette and into Hardiman and Shelby counties. Take cover in these areas and even around the Jack Jackson area, Crockett, Haywood, and Madison counties. These are severe thunderstorm warnings, I would say, for now. But in this line, this entire line, we've had rotating cells and we've had um, tornado warnings for these cells at times as we've gone on through the overnight. Uh, this tornado warning further north, northeast, is southeast of Louisville for Bullitt and Shelby counties. That includes the cities of Harrisonville and Shelbyville and Taylorsville. Uh, right now, not seeing a lot of rotation on this, but if we throw the velocity on there, you can see. Um, um, kind of not getting much here as um, kind of radar's not really picking up any rotation, but still a dangerous thunderstorm nonetheless. As we take a larger view out, we can see that the area of thunderstorms extends all the way up to the north, getting ready to go into Detroit and back down and east into the Texarkana area just east of that. So this line of storms will continue to roll east as we head on through the overnight. So Nashville, you may be under the gun as you get near Oxford here in northern Mississippi. Cincinnati looks like a heavy rain threat, but right now it does look like around Bowling Green. This is the area we do have the most concern about as the thunderstorms continue to produce observed tornadoes, strong tornadoes, destructive and deadly tornadoes as we head on through the early morning hours. We'll continue to keep you updated here at the Weather Channel as we head on through the early morning hours on this Saturday. We'll now send you back to your regularly scheduled programming. We're going to do big fluffy branches. Solution? Well, I'm going to teach you how Tornado warning continues for the city of Bowling Green. It looks like the cell is just about upon you or maybe even passing through right now as the worst of your weather continuing to occur. Uh, Butler, Edmondson, Warren counties. This is for an observed tornado, a tornado warning. So Bowling Green, you are in that Green Castle and Sugar Grove until 145. Uh, back to the uh, west. It looks like near Russellville, the threat is lessening just a bit. But right on Bowling Green, as we speak, it looks like we are seeing now the worst of the weather may be just passing through some other areas here that may be affected as we head through the next few minutes could include Plum Springs at Rocky Hill, also Park City, Cave City and Horse Cave uh, in the next 35 minutes. So please take cover now if you are in these areas, get to the lowest level of your home, uh, most ideal a basement. But if there's an interior room, get yourself away from the outside as best you can as a very dangerous uh, thunderstorm right now uh, producing a tornado, or at least observed tornado with the last reports coming on in here from uh, what we're seeing from the National Weather Service. Now we're looking at our rotation here and it looks like there may be rotation not only just to the southwest of Bowling Green, maybe a little bit further east now, but also to the south of Sugar Grove. This may be two areas where we do have at least the potential of um, seeing tornadoes. But as we had said, uh, it has been weakening just a bit. And I want to show you this um, correlation coefficient map here and going to slow it down and going to show you what's going on. Um, you can see from what we've had just a few minutes ago, last time we were on, kind of these two areas of... Um, debris or debris fields, one down to the northwest of Auburn and one further north. Now, over the last few minutes, what has happened is that it looks like that debris signature has gone away, but another one has just shown up and is significant signature here. Tornado debris signature continuing to head right toward Bowling Green. So right now, pretty confident that that may be where there is a tornado occurring right now, getting ready to head on right on off toward the city of Bowling Green. If not, it may already be there. So very dangerous cell. Once again, continue to push on off toward the north and northeast here. And it does look like we've got what looks to be a debris signature showing up um, from Doppler radar right there and just recently over the past couple of minutes. And that is the area where we may be seeing right now potential 
Angeles, that tornado heading toward Bowling Green. Please take cover now. Very dangerous, um, very dangerous storm potential of producing uh, destruction and uh, in some cases some pretty significant damage, which has already happened as the governor in Kentucky for numerous counties to the west and southwest of where these cells are now has issued a state of emergency. Uh, National Guard has uh, been activated and we do have um, what's going to be a pretty ugly morning coming up when we get a chance to assess the damage further on off toward the west and southwest of where our storms are now. A little further north now east of Louisville, Shelby and Spencer counties in Harrisonville. This is another tornado warning. Once again, this is radar indicated. Um, you can see here we do have a little bit of rotation showing up, but right now a radar is not doing a good job showing us the picture here of what's going on, but still a very dangerous thunderstorm nonetheless. Back toward the southwest. I'll say luckily these storms are now uh, severe and not seeing much rotation within them, but all along this line at any point from Jackson to east of Memphis and southeast of that, these storms will have the potential to rotate and be surprised if we see a couple of more spot warnings show up here in on this line. Uh, Nashville, you're probably wondering about what's going to happen. Well, over the next few hours, uh, we think this line of storms is going to continue to try to work on in. But for now, uh, these storms are not to severe limits, but they may be changing and they may be getting to severe limits and potentially tornadic as we head toward the early morning hours. We'll continue to keep you updated through the early morning. We'll now send you back to your regularly scheduled programming. Our water reach here on the Weather Channel. A likely had a touchdown of a tornado in the Bowling Green area with power flashes being reported. Now, extremely dangerous and destructive tornado uh, observed now moving through Barron, Edmondson, and Hart County. So, if you are in Centerville or Center, Hardyville, and Rocky Hill, uh, please take cover now. I think the most significant thing to show here, because we only got a few seconds, is this signature, which we call correlation coefficient. And if we stop it right there and we advance this as it went through Bowling Green, it was kicking up uh, debris. And now as it moves on off toward the north and east, you can see here this debris field expanding. So this could be a tornado right now that's actually picked up debris and it's getting larger. It heads just north of Oakland. So extremely dangerous tornado continuing to roll north and northeast out of Bowling Green real quickly. The latest of what's been a very dangerous night continuing to unfold now east of Bowling Green. And I can't emphasize enough that this tornado is moving very rapidly off to the east, 55 plus miles per hour. So the radar uh, may not be actual ground truth of where this cell is. It's probably a little further east than what we're showing right now. But Barron, Edmondson, and Hart counties right now for center, Hardyville, Rocky Hill, and points east, northeast of that. Uh, please take cover now. Get into your safe place and observe tornado. There are power flashes reported in the city of Bowling Green. That most likely means we had a touchdown or a tornado moving through the city of Bowling Green and now reporting an observed tornado tornado moving northeast at about 55 miles per hour. Uh, the best way to try to show this right now is by showing the correlation coefficient. This is a signature that shows us where we've got debris kicking up and you can see what is out of place here. Well, look as it goes southwest of Bowling Green, you can see that debris field. That is actually a tornado or most likely where the tornado was starting to pick up debris. Now whether that is a wood structures or trees or bushes or whatever it is, you can see as it moved just over the city of Bowling Green a few minutes ago at one. 20 central time and then now moving on off toward the north and northeast and notice how it has kind of expanded in terms of how much debris that this tornado has potentially picked up. So most likely to the north and the northwest of Rocky Hill, maybe even a little bit further north of that now, uh, potentially a tornado which looks likely right now moving off toward into the south of the Brownsville area. So again, emphasizing a very dangerous and destructive tornado most likely in progress right now, Barron, Edmondson and Hart counties in including Hardyville, Rocky Hill, and areas northeast of that. So I'm going to throw in here a couple of other areas that need to be taken cover right now. So we're going to give you a general idea of where the storm is headed. So Donnensburg, Somerville, Campbellsville, and also into the Lebanon area over the next hour or so. So if you are in and around these cities and towns, please get into your safe place right now. This storm has had a history of producing damage. We've had buildings damaged. We've also had trees, power lines down, and we do have a signature here that indicates we most likely have 
with what's been an observed tornado on the ground, potentially a powerful and destructive tornado heading on off toward the north and northeast. So there's not much time to react. These storms are moving very quickly, and they will continue to do so as we head on through this evening. Further to the north and northeast, now around Frankfurt, we also have a tornado warning. This is radar indicated, so there could be rotation within this thunderstorm, and it looks like this storm's actually getting a little bit stronger right as it's heading on over the city of Frankfurt. So peak mills and stamping grounds once again until 3 o'clock. This is a tornado warning radar indicated rotation right now within that thunderstorm. And this entire area out across, uh, let's just say the east central U.S. from Cincinnati to Nashville down toward Memphis and even Shreveport under a tornado watch through the early morning hours. And some of these watches are going to be expanded. So Nashville, you still have got your worst weather yet to come around Oxford and then eventually south and east through the daytime hours. Most likely going to see a weakening line of storms right now. A significant threat for tornadoes continues here in a very few areas, but still the threat is there nonetheless. We'll continue to keep you updated as we head through the early morning hours. We're now going to send you back to your regularly scheduled programming. I was sweating. By breathing so much. Powerful line of thunderstorms and active tornado warnings just west of Nashville now. Now these are radar indicated Tornado warnings, meaning that we haven't had an actual tornado spotted, but a significant threat here for damaging winds, hail, and maybe even some tornadoes. So let's run through these warnings real quickly now. Uh, Benton and Decatur County, this is radar indicated tornado warning until 2.30 a.m. Uh, just east of that, Dick and, uh, Dixon, Hickman, and Humphreys County, this is tornado warning for only Tennessee City and Waverly, and just to the north of that on the line, uh, Houston, Humphreys, and Stewart Counties, including the cities of Carlisle, Aaron, and Tennessee Ridge. This is also a tornado warning and a radar indicated tornado warning. So uh, this line now is uh, a few miles to the west of Nashville and over the next couple of hours, we really don't anticipate it weakening much as these strong cells continue to push east and even showing a little bit of Boeing segments here. You see how they're kind of pushing out there. That's where we have some damaging straight line winds occurring rather than tornadoes. But at any time along this line here, you can see the strong winds. We may spin up a tornado and this is why we've got these active tornado warnings currently in place. So a very dangerous line of storms now that has developed. We're going to track it out for you and just kind of put tracker on this entire line. Line. And over the next uh, probably 30 to 40 minutes, affecting places like Parsons and Dickinson, uh, Wrigley and Springfield, and then Nashville at about 3.51. So at its current pace, some of the severe weather at about 3.51 central time getting into the Nashville metropolitan area. Obviously, it'll be a little bit sooner, a little bit further toward the west. Going to jump further north now as you get up into uh, central parts of um Kentucky. Now, this now has become an observe tag once again. This has been a thunderstorm that has produced not only tornadoes, but damaging tornadoes that was on the ground for a significant amount of time out to the west and southwest and southwestern parts of the state. Now we've got an observe tag on this once again for Green, uh, LaRue, and Taylor County. So if you're in Campbellsville, uh, Saloma, and Summersville, please take cover now. Very dangerous thunderstorm and an observed tornado now. This warning is in effect until 345. We'll continue to keep you updated with the active tornado warnings as we head through the early morning hours. Very dangerous morning setting up. Uh, we'll send you back now to your regularly scheduled program. To my backpack. Very dangerous night continuing. Observed tornado now being reported once again with this cluster of thunderstorms that's had a long track history of producing strong and destructive tornadoes. Uh, significant damage in Mayfield and Kentucky and now it's Boyle, Marion and Washington counties including the cities of Danville, Har Harrodsburg and Lebanon. Please observe tornado being reported. Please take cover now if you are in this area and in and around these cities and towns as uh, potential for destructive tornado and observed tornado being reported here now and just starting to pick up now in the debris signature just north of the Campbellsville area. So that's a signature that we most likely between Campbellsville and Lebanon have a tornado on the ground here producing destruction as it heads on off toward the north and northeast very quickly at about 55 miles per hour. Situation with their Long track and destructive tornadoes have already occurred during Friday night, now early Saturday morning, and more observed tornadoes are being reported now uh, coming in out of Kentucky. That's this area up here and also starting to see things get real nasty just west of Nashville. So I uh, want to keep you updated on what's going on right now. Uh, just starting to see this storm uh, kind of 
re-energize itself as it had gone back to the southwest as a destructive observed tornadoes that went through Bowling Green and then we kind of had radar indicated but now we're back to an observed tornado now as this warning for Boyle, Marion and Washington counties now is in effect until 4 o'clock this morning. Danville, uh, Harrodsburg and Lebanon. Please take cover now if you are in these cities and towns or in these cities and towns in and around these areas. And Danville also it's going to be an area that's going to get hit next. You do not have much time to react because it, the radar's not showing exactly what the storm is. It's probably a little further east right now. So please get into your safe place in the Danville area and also into the Lebanon area, although it looks like that storm has actually passed you. Now, we want to talk about the debris signature. It does look like we're starting to see a little bit of debris trying to get kicked up here. So this is why we're getting an observed tornado reported. That's most likely where the tornado would be. So as you're near gravel switch, uh, certainly an area where you're going to want to be in your safe place. If you're not now, uh, you should be pretty shortly. But it's going to be quick moving. So, as I had said, the storm's not there. It will be pretty quickly. And then we go further to the south and southwest now on this line. You know, there's Bowling Green up to our north, and here's Nashville. As you can see, these storms now are creeping up on you. Some of them tornadic, and now we've got an observed tag on this cell near Dixon, Hickman, and Humphreys counties just west of Nashville. So, this is a observed now tornado that just popped up here on radar that's um, actually producing what looks to be a couplet here. You can kind of see these two colors of opposites actually showing where the rotation is sitting right in there and that's where you are seeing uh, that tornado being observed right now with um, obviously producing some damage as it heads toward Dixon and we time it out for Wrigley at 250, Fairview at 308 and into the Santa Fe area at 323 and now Nashville uh, looks like this line of storms may get to you at about 338 this morning. So uh, very dangerous and destructive storms continuing as we track this lone cell out where the rotation is. We can see that over the next uh, 45 minutes to an hour maybe be getting pretty close to Nashville. It does hold itself together. So if you are Burns and Fairview, at Pe Pegram and Bellevue and Brentwood, I'd take cover and get into your safe place now just in case this cell holds its intensity. But right now that's an observed tornado. You can see that circulation a little bit further toward the north. That's another area we'll have to keep our eyes on here as we may be seeing what looks to be another rotating supercell continuing to push on off towards Sladen and Beach Grove. May already be past Sladen, but Springfield and Goodlettsville here over the next uh, 40 five minutes to an hour. So starting to see these storms get tornadic even in Tennessee now as this line continues to push on off toward the east at about 55 miles per hour. So the radar showing us where the storms are, but once again, they are most likely a little ahead of what we're seeing right now. But right now showing two areas of rotation. This cell down further south here west of Nashville is the one where we do have uh, reports of an observed tornado once again. So that's for Dixon and Hickman and Humphreys counties now. If you are in these areas around only in Tennessee City and Waverly, please get to your safe place now. Uh, potentially a damaging tornado heading in that direction. We'll continue to keep you updated as we head on through this morning. We're now going to send you back to your regularly scheduled program. Into a pulp. Tornado warning now includes the city of Nashville as a line of thunderstorms producing tornadoes continue to push on off toward the east and racing east. So you do not have much time to react. Uh, if you're in and around Nashville and all the surrounding communities in uh, Davidson County, I'd take cover now. Get into your safe place. Right now it's uh, Dixon County, Burns, Dixon, White Bluff. Uh, this is an observed tornado. And then as we get into the latest warnings now, Cheatham and Davidson County also in this warning for Pegram, White Bluff, and also the city of Nashville. Um, get into this latest tornado warning. That one's radar indicated. So is the one now just issued to your south for Williamson County. But it's a cell back toward the west that it was observed. And we do have a little bit of an indication that there is some debris signature with this cell. So we're going to come back in about a minute or so. We're going to update you and get a little bit more local on this storm as it heads east. It's every traveler's cables that lead you to the top. Tornado warning now includes the city of Nashville and the surrounding communities as storms racing on off to these very quickly. You do not have time here to react. So if you are in Davidson County, especially central and western Davidson County, take cover now. Uh, Cheatham County, Dixon County also under this warning. It's a radar indicator. This warning is until 3.30, but we had seen some reports of some rotation with that cell as it heads on off toward the north and northeast at about 55 miles per hour. So not only the potential for a tornado, but fast moving also. So you're going to have to be aware uh, right now. 
now, even in Brentwood and Franklin, we also have a tornado warning. Again, it's the one that includes a city in Nashville. So if you are in Brentwood and Frank Franklin, please take cover now. Storms move very quickly and probably outrunning the radar right now. It may already be on your doorstep. It looks like we've got two areas of rotation. The one here just north of Kingston Springs uh, looks a little bit tighter than the one here down toward the south. But still, these storms have kind of been pulsing as we've gone on through the overnight up toward the north in Kentucky. And even this cell has had a history of producing some observed tor tornadoes and even a tornado signature, debris signature, which it looks like has popped up once again there just north of Kingston Springs. So I'll show you what you're talking about here. Um, just south of Dixon, if you look in this area here, you can see that just a few minutes ago or about 30 minutes ago, we saw this signature right there. You can kind of see that area right to the south of Dixon, that um, debris signature. Now, as we've gone east, you can see that it's popped up right under the Kingston there, Kingston Springs. So most likely, this is the area we are looking at with the potential for where that tornado is sitting, heading on off toward the northeast at about 55 miles per hour, so moving very quickly. Now, further south, in the warning of the south on the cell that may try to get into Nashville, right now, not seeing much in the way of rotation here or any debris signatures popping up, but this is a thunderstorm that has the capability of producing a tornado heading on off toward the northeast. So not much time to react here in and around the Nashville area, but do want to recap here. The warnings does include Davidson, Williamson County, including the city of Nashville, uh, probably just about on your doorstep now as these storms are racing east. At a minimum, we are expecting strong winds, 60 to 70 miles per hour, and the potential is seeing a tornado here because as we'd said back toward the west, we did have a tornado that was observed here just south of the Dixon area, and that debris signature looks like with this cell, yeah, even starting to see a little bit more of a hook echo there, starting to push on off toward the east and maybe getting a little bit stronger now as it heads to uh, what looks to be uh, Davidson County here and maybe just clipping the north side of Nashville. We'll see how close uh, this cell actually gets here to the city of Nashville. But there it is right there. That's the cell we are concerned about as it continues to race on off toward the east. So take cover now if you're in Davidson County. Again, if you're in Kingston Springs, Pegram, and White Bluff, um, right now an observed tornado, considerable threat here for uh, um, not only damaging winds, but the potential for what looks to be a pretty good hook echo starting to develop here, heading toward or just west and north of the city of Nashville. We'll be, at, be back to update you here in a couple of minutes. And we're now going to send you back to your regularly scheduled programming. By a tiny Very rapidly, what will you do? Considerable threat here for the city of Nashville now as tornado warnings and multiple warnings out for Davidson and Williamson counties. Brentwood, Franklin, Nashville, uh, hopefully you've taken cover and uh, now east of town is where the threat's going to continue as we head through the next uh, 30 to 40 minutes. Um, radar showing where these storms are right now, but they're probably a little bit further east now because these storms are hauling east at about 55 miles per hour. So hopefully you've gotten into your safe place here. Uh, this storm cell to the south is actually radar indicated, but if we go further north, North. This is the one that's had the better tornado signature on it, and an observed tornado while well, reported here for Cheatham in northern Davidson County. So the threat here is considerable. Observed tornado, very dangerous, heading toward the northern end of the Nashville area. So the north side of town, you can see maybe a little bit of a hook echo there. Uh, looks like you're going to get hit by at least strong winds and potentially still uh, maybe a tornado on the ground here. As you can see our couplet as it's uh, right in that area there. There's another area rotation down here. Notice the radar as we get closer to it. It's kind of showing us a little bit less as you get closer to it kind of washes out the radar just a bit and the velocity showing to where we could see some of that rotation and now the debris signatures showing up here some of this may be noise but it does look like we are seeing at least some debris getting kicked up and if there are tornadoes here there may be some debris here just to the west of Nashville as I said this is probably more in this area here now as the radar does lag a little bit of what's actually happening on the ground but either way dangerous cells nonetheless and two tornado warnings now for Williamson and even on in through Davidson County so if it's not on you right now we'll be shortly and moving very quickly now through the city of Nashville uh, strong winds and as we'd said even an observed tornado here with this cell to the north that looks like the more dangerous thunderstorm cell here. So we're going to track that just a bit and show you where that one's heading, probably up toward Hendersonville and out near uh, Castellinian Springs and even places around Gatlin and Cairo in the next 30 minutes. A very strong storm of uh, potentially a tornado here uh, being observed and uh, showing some debris signature as we go on through uh, the next couple of minutes here heading through central Davidson County. Now as we get further south, no warnings here in northern Mississippi, but stronger cells heading toward Oxford and then further north here you can see 
see um, we do have some storms that have now weakened in intensity, but this is the line that produced significant damage back here near the Mayfield, um, the Mayfield, Kentucky area. Uh, these storms right now not severe, but still dangerous nonetheless. Uh, again, we do want to get in now to the city of Nashville, uh, Williamson and Davidson counties. Uh, right now, tornado warnings are in effect. Um, take cover if you have not already. Very dangerous storms, powerful storms, and even on this northern cell, once again, a considerable threat here from potential tornado moving through the north side of town. We'll continue to keep you updated on the active severe weather and tornadoes as we head on through this morning. We're now going to send you back to your regularly scheduled programming. Robert learned strikes can and Damaging winds and possibly tornadoes now pushing east of the city of Nashville. Meteorologist Ray Stage here at the Weather Channel. And we've got one lone tornado warning left for Davidson, Sumner, and Wilson counties here in central uh, parts of Tennessee. Looks like the worst has moved through Nashville. Uh, nothing confirmed yet, but certainly some strong winds, 60 to maybe even 70 miles per hour. So uh, dangerous storms nonetheless. A numerous severe thunderstorm warnings surrounding this area where this tornado warning is in effect. So uh, please take cover in these areas now east of Nashville and in central and north central parts of Tennessee as we get up on into Kentucky. At a minimum, we'll get strong winds to 60 or 70 miles per hour in some of these storms in these Boeing segments. And occasionally, we will see more of these, which will be spin-ups along this line. And this line will continue to extend down toward the southwest, where northern Mississippi may start seeing some severe In just the right spot. To walk. Numerous tornado warnings continuing as we head through the early morning hours. The latest now just south and east of the Hendersonville area. Uh, radar indicated uh, Davidson, Sumner, and Wilson counties under these tornado warnings. But uh, the cell most concerned now is this uh, couplet that's just developed here. Uh, it's kind of pretty close to the radar, but you can see here just south and southeast of Hendersonville. A pretty dangerous cell and potentially a rotation there within that thunderstorm continuing to push on off toward the east and the northeast rather rapidly. So you really don't have much time to react here as these cells have been racing on off toward the east now. Uh, at a minimum, strong winds 60 to maybe 70 miles per hour, but these storms have had a history of producing spin-ups and tornadoes. Uh, Mayfield, Kentucky, an area that's gotten very hard hit. Uh, we're going to have a crew out there this morning assessing what's been going on and some of the damage that unfortunately has occurred there. Um, we take a look at the radar here, and we can see that these storms have pushed through the city of Nashville. Uh, strong winds didn't get any reports of damage yet, but as these storms continue to go east, they've been pulsing and again, we do have a new tornado warning now, which does include the city of Hendersonville. But at this point, it looks like the strongest area of rotation there with that cell is down to your south. Up near Richmond now, as we get back into Kentucky, this is an additional tornado warning for uh, Garrett and uh, Jessamine and Madison counties. This is radar indicated, but take cover if you are in these areas of Nicholsville and Richmond. That's until 445. And then the next area we're going to watch for development now, the Storm Prediction Center has a severe weather discussion out here for northern parts of Mississippi. Uh, this is an area around Oxford and Tupelo and Corinth where we may see some of these storms generate potentially strong winds and hail and the potential for additional tornadoes and tornado warnings. But right now, the most concern are these storms here as you get into Davidson, northeastern Davidson and Sumner and Wilson counties in central Tennessee. Again, Gatlin and even toward Goodlettsville and Hendersonville. Uh, dangerous thunderstorms for you potentially producing a tornado and another radar indicated warning here for Trousdale, uh, Wilson counties heading on off toward the east uh, near the Lebanon area also. So this line of storms has had a history of producing strong winds and hail and Along the line, although we haven't had observed reports lately, we have been seeing some reports of observed tornadoes and damage with this line as it continues to head on off toward the east. So, you know, anybody here in eastern Kentucky and eastern parts of Tennessee, uh, from uh, Albany down toward uh, Crossville and areas to the south, Murfreesboro, uh, you could start seeing some of this severe weather as we head on through the next uh, couple of hours here as these storms continue to race uh, off toward the east at about 55 miles per hour. Hardin, McNary counties in Tennessee also tornado warning for you that's an effect until 20. Numerous severe weather warnings here early this morning, pushing east of Nashville and into east central parts of Tennessee. Here's some of the latest tornado warnings for Macon, Sumner, Trousdale counties. Um, that may have had uh, some indications that there was a brief spin up or a couple of rotation rotating cells there out across Sumner County. But since it does look like the rotation has backed off just a little bit. But what's happening here, even through Trousdale and Wilson counties, is that this line is continuing to push east very quickly and affecting Buffalo Valley, Cookville, and Rick Rickman here over the next 
next hour or so. And the storms are pulsing, so we're getting severe thunderstorm warnings and occasionally we're getting rotation within these thunderstorms. And this will continue as these storms will have 60 to 70 mile per hour winds and additional severe weather now with the tornado watches extending into northern parts of Mississippi and now Alabama. Tornado warnings continuing in Tennessee and south southeastern parts of Kentucky. Uh, latest warnings, Clay, Jackson, Overton counties here. Uh, some of these storms showing some rotation, but uh, this is a little further to the north now as we get into uh, Kentucky showing uh, what could be a tornado debris signature here. This is for uh, Cumberland and Monroe counties, uh, pretty decent circulation as we take a look at the uh, correlation coefficient where uh, we look at where there may be debris getting thrown up and you can see right there, right there is the area where we're looking at. There's potentially a tornado right in this area, right on the Tennessee kind of Kentucky border here. So very dangerous thunderstorm producing a tornado there. Uh, this line now heading on off toward the east and eastern parts of Tennessee. At times, strong gusty winds to 60, 70 miles per hour and occasionally even tornadoes. Choose A, trying to reach. A very dangerous Friday night now translating into a very dangerous Saturday morning. Numerous tornadoes have been reported with significant damage and even reports of a few fatalities. So we'll update you as we get into the morning hours here, sending crews out to assess damage. Uh, Mayfield, Kentucky seems to be one of the hardest places hit. And now along this line, we've got numerous warnings, uh, tornado warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings, and now heavy rain with flash flood warnings. Um, I just want to mention one thing along this entire line. If you haven't had a warning yet anywhere from just northwest of Charleston all the way down to southwest of Tupelo and areas even southwest of that, we'll have the chance of getting some of these storms to produce strong winds. 50, 60, 70 miles per hour, maybe stronger. And at times, as we have in here, some tornado warnings and even a new tornado warning popping up here to the north, northeast of Tupelo, Mississippi. So let's get down into Kentucky and into um, Tennessee first. There's the border of those two states. Cumberland and Monroe counties, this is a tornado warning near Burksville. Uh, please take cover now in that area. A uh, strong storm potentially producing a tornado. For Fentress, Overton, and Pickett counties here, this is in Tennessee. For Hillham, Jamestown, and Livingston, this is a radar indicated tornado. And um, also down to Clay, Jackson, and Overton counties, this is also radar indicated rotation. But it looks like uh, most of the action is getting out of those counties and moving on off toward the counties further on off toward the east. So if we take a look at the velocity, this is measuring winds going toward and away from the radar, you can kind of see maybe some weeks rotation here in numerous areas, thus the numerous warnings right now. Uh, but as we take a look at the correlation coefficient, this actually shows us where there may be debris getting kicked up. We could see right here, uh, right there in the area, right on the Tennessee and Kentucky border. That is a tornado debris signature, most likely a tornado in that area. Uh, not a very highly populated area, but as we back it out, you can see kind of an idea. It's southeast of Compkinsville and to the east, northeast of Hermitage Springs. So very dangerous night continuing now through the early morning hours. We jump into uh, northern Kentucky, south, southeast of Lexington. This is a tornado warning now for Gerard, Lincoln, and Madison counties. That's until 6 o'clock. Uh, Berea, Lancaster, and Richmond, you are under this tornado warning, so please take cover in that area and then off to the east of that a severe thunderstorm warning for strong winds and hail um, for the areas near West Liberty for uh, Menifee and Powell and Wolf counties that's also a severe thunderstorm warning with a tornado possible there go further south now and this is where a new tornado watch has actually just been issued this is uh, northern Mississippi here's Tupelo and this is the border Mississippi and Alabama we're northwest of Red Bay and southeast of Boonville this is Prentice and Tishomingo counties. This is the latest tornado warning now coming in for Belmont, uh, Marietta, and Tishomingo. That's until 5 o'clock, and that's radar indicated. So, uh, once again, looking at storms that are potentially becoming tornadic even further south and southwest of that. Very heavy rainfall, and as I'd mentioned, this line of storms could be severe or potentially even tornadic, just as they will on up toward the north as we take the wide shot once again. Uh, numerous areas seeing severe weather along with flash flooding. Strong winds all along this line, 60, 70 miles per hour or greater, and at times, as we're seeing on the line, some of these spin-ups coming through in Kentucky. 
Kentucky and even on down here toward parts of uh, central, east central parts of Tennessee and now down into parts of northeast Mississippi heading on into northeastern parts of Kentucky or northeastern parts of Alabama. Here's a tornado watch. It's kind of been trimmed back just a little bit, but we are in through now just to the northwest of Birmingham, further north, east of Nashville. Uh, the threat continues on up further toward the north until 9 o'clock this morning into Cincinnati. So all these areas are going to be under the gun for potentially damaging winds and even that threat for occasionally spin-ups along this line, including threat for tornadoes. There will be that chance of seeing not only that, but flash flooding we're seeing along this line, along with some hail along the line of thunderstorms that continues to push on through. Uh, right now, the most uh, dangerous cells on radar look to be right here now across Clay, Jackson, Overton counties in Tennessee, and also into Fentress, Overton, and Pickett counties. And then this cell here, which did have a debris signature just a little earlier around Cumberland and Monroe, east of um, the uh, Hermitage Springs area, I believe that was, and east of Tompkinsville. So we'll continue to keep you updated as we head on through the morning and starting at 6 a.m. America's Weekend Headquarters begins, and we'll have more coverage on the severe weather as we head on through the day. We'll now send you back to your regularly scheduled programming. Only to have this wind shear thrust him into this.